The New York Knicks have been a storied franchise, but the last quarter century, they have not really been a good team. Most of that can be put on their owner, James Dolan, who honestly just does not know what he's doing, but failed attempts at rebuilds. Anticipating star players coming there, ending up overpaying mid-tier or lower-tier players, right now it's not working out. So you know what, let's take over the New York Knicks and let's show them how they can realistically rebuild. Let's get it. All right, guys, and now we're in 2K. And you guys already know that we're trying to do this in the most realistic fashion possible. Now, I do got to say for the remainder of this rebuild, RJ Barrett is the only current, well, him and Mitchell Robinson are the only current players that are untradeable. Now, we now we have the second highest odds for them one overall pick. You guys already know. LaMelo, if possible, we're trying to get him. But regardless, you guys, as I said in the intro, like this video and, of course, subscribe, man. Yo, I do got to say the, the easiest way for the Knicks to win a championship is for somehow to get James Dolan to sell this team. Now, we know what he said a few days ago, but, but I, I truly do feel like he's the biggest barrier to the Knicks getting any free agents. He, he definitely is. You guys, you guys are out here kicking out Charles Oakley and whatnot. It, it ain't a good look, bruh. We end up with the third overall pick. Not too bad. Now, let's clean house, man. Let, let's clean house. Let's pick up Michael Stauffer. I mean, we can see what this pick is worth, but we're just gonna hope and pray that LaMelo falls to us. Why, sh why would the Kings pick up a point guard? Why? They literally have De'Aaron Fox, and if you guys don't want him, we'll take him. Like, <laughs> dead ass. Like, let's see what, what we can get in, in this draft, though. I bet the Kings did, did something stupid, huh? Oh, they did, but so did, but so did the Bulls. Awesome. Well, I'm going with the player that I think is the best player in this draft. All right, we actually simmed to the end of the draft. I probably should have kept in looks, but we got Cash and Stanley in the center right there. Not too bad. Honestly, you guys can all go ahead and walk. I'm cool with all of that. If we can trade away Kevin Knox, I would be really happy. Like, no offense to him, but it's not working out. Free agency, I mean, we can offer AD because the Knicks will definitely do that, but he's, he's going back to the Lakers. Yeah. Where's number two option? I mean, other teams, of course, we're going to offer BI, but they're going to match it. Yeah, we're going to be stuck with a bad team for another year, but... Let's do what the Knicks do. Expensive one-year deals. They love those a lot. And I and I anticipate after the Knicks fold and, and don't get anybody, they'll be more than happy to like offer DeMar DeRozan a ridiculous contract. That's the most Knicks thing to actually do. Honestly, DeMar DeRozan is your number one. Even though DeMar isn't amazing, he would he would actually be a decent mentor to somebody like RJ Barrett and just constantly improve our youth on this team because because I truly really do think that he's getting out of San Antonio. So we can go ahead and, and we can make that work. I mean, other than that, I'm not really feeling anybody else. Um, I like Frank Nilakina. I still want to trade some of these guys, but like moving them is going to be difficult because nobody really wants them. Honestly, if you guys just slide me this pick, I would be more than happy. You, got, you, got, you guys can have them. Like, I'm not even going to trip. Like, we actually got a lot to actually prove for this first season. I would be shocked if this team is amazing, but knowing 2K, there's actually a decent chance that we are. But let's just see. I'm I'm done making my moves. The CPU can sign whoever they want. This is a three-year rebuild. We are really worried about winning a championship in season number three. Season number one, re season number one, realistically, we're not gonna be able to make a move for a lot of these players. All right, and getting into season number one, this is gonna be our lineup. It's gonna be LaMelo Ball, RJ Bear, DeMar DeRozan, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson off the bench. It's complete. It's like, it's actually really bad. I mean, if we know that we're going to be bad, hold on. Let me just confirm. All right. They got us rebuilding. Bet. That's perfect. Because, but why do they have us ranked 11th? Why? Let's, let's move Kevin Knox first. Like, let's get him out of here. Sacramento would do this. And I'm down. I'm definitely down. All right. We're, we're good. Yeah. We're going to be a really bad team. Like, <laughs> I already know this. Now, we cut down the, the, the minutes a little bit for some of those guys. Which system fits us the best? Let's rock with the seven seconds. And let's just see how good this team is going to be because worse comes worse. We can get Cade Cunningham, Jalen Green, or one of those other top guys, or just trade that pick. 
and that's what we and, and that's what we actually want to do anyways and at the end of this season we actually nearly win 50 games which is why i'm like yo 2k is is wild you can't tell me that demar <laughs> carried us to the playoffs bro well actually he's back in the east and the real ones know that demar was cold in the east but for 49 wins Giannis is mvp lamello's rookie of the year 17 5 and 11 51% from the field, 41% from the three. Great season by him. Good for DeMar, man. LaMelo made All-NBA solo. So Melo was carrying. And DeMar! DeMar is back in the easy East. And let's get it. Bro. DeMar is back in the East. And he killed it. We, we were the fifth seed. Fifth seed. I like that, man. So DeMar led us in scoring. He put up numbers, 26 points per game. He shot efficiently. He still can't shoot threes, but he did his thing. Barrett was right behind him with 19 points per game. So th this seems actually competitive. Like, if we can improve at power forward, imagine what we can actually do. So that's definitely a W for us. So DeMar is going up against Toronto, his old team in the first round. Get them boys up out of here, man. DeMar, get your revenge, bruh. Get your revenge. I did not expect to, to actually make the playoffs in year number one. I truly didn't. And we advance. Hold on. These are my settings that I am using. I don't get what's going on, but I ain't gonna argue it. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna argue it at all. Okay. I like that. So Philly won the championship in this sim last season. If we can upset them, I'd be happy. I'd be happy, but they are the number one seed. It's 2-2 right now. Come on, you guys. All right, we get eliminated. I'm not tripping. I didn't even think that we'd make the playoffs. We were the fifth seed. Two players on All-NBA third team. One's a rook. Lakers won this. Well, Lakers should win this. Oh, yeah. Lakers win. Awesome. Let's get into this offseason because now I think that we can actually attract a lot of good free agents. Like, now we got, like, now we, we can actually be a really, really good team. The Spurs are the worst team, but we can get the sixth pick. Thanks to Sacramento. Um, we get the fourth pick. Decent. So, how did that trade work out for Sac? How did that work out um, with them giving, with them getting Knox? But, oh, yeah, they just drafted Isaac Okoro. That's tough. He, he, he didn't do nothing there. That's tough, bro. <laughs> that, that's tough. All right, let's get straight into the draft. I'm, I might even trade this draft pick, if I'm being honest. But I feel like we can even get players in free agency. So we are projected to be getting Terrence Clark. We'll see. We're going to see. We're going to get the 15th pick. I know Bucks fans don't want to hear this. And I know, like, I don't want to get Giannis because I, I, I've gotten Giannis in my past two rebuilds. However... This is a realistic one, and if the Knicks are looking this decent, they might be able to get Giannis. I'm, I'm being honest. And James Dolan is no longer there. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, maybe. I mean, some other guys, I don't think that we have a chance at getting them. And some of them, I, I just simply just don't want. We're going to see who's there at pick number four, but I, I can't lie to you. I would like to trade this pick. Bradley Beal and DeMar, how do I feel about that? How much money would we have left over, though? Because DeMar is, DeMar is getting a bag. Like, he's getting a bag. But, but, but no one else is, though. Like, no one else is, is, is getting paid out there. You guys have the 19th pick. This is a lot. This is a lot. Really? This is not enough for, like, Beal? Bruh, chill out. I know y'all. I know y'all. I know that you guys are, are not out here trying to make him seem untouchable or something. Cut it out, dude. This is three. This is five first round picks for. Okay, forget him. Oh, <laughs> like that is a insane price tag for for like Bradley Beal. And and look, we we like Beal, but we don't like him that much. But honestly, I might be able to put together a trade. For somebody else or just get him later on I think that's actually that might be the best move for us I might just I might just get him later on yeah let's just do that 
<laughs> like, let's just do that. Let's just get him later on. As far as this draft picks goes, I'll get Jonathan Kaminga. But yeah, we, we can just trade one of these prospects for him later on. Like, but 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 me forcing it wasn't gonna help us. All right, so we did good with that Kaminga pick. Honestly, you can sign all of them because I'm probably gonna move them anyways. All right, if we want Giannis, what's the what's the price for for Giannis? You ain't going to no Chicago. All right, let's let let's trade this boy. All right, Julius, it's been nice, but you gotta go. <laughs> like you gotta go. Yeah, send that man to Chicago to mess up that entire deal. Awesome. All right, let's see what we can actually get going. Can you guys do it without that? Oh, awesome. Summon another pig. There we go. Get Giannis to New York City. I gotta offer him. Got to. We can go after Giannis. I'm gonna go after Tatum as well. Who else? Honestly, I, I need a power forward. Like that, that like that's the biggest thing. Kawhi. I'm down to pay whoever, to, 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 to be honest. I've gotten Kawhi, I've gotten Giannis so much in the last few videos. They barely made the playoffs. They, they had a losing record. I've gotten Giannis, but Giannis could actually go there. Giannis could definitely actually go there next season. I'm going to get Giannis. I know that some people might not like it, but we're, but we're going to get Giannis. All right. Sorry. We're going to have to. All right, so with the Giannis deal already done, now I can go after Beal and like be happy about it and not and I have to worry about ruining everything else. 26 mil is Oh, it's not I, I don't think it's it's going to happen. I don't, I don't I don't think it's even possible. I don't think it's possible. We got to go after somebody else. Dang, that would have been such a dub. This team has like no spacing at, at all. <laughs> like all right. Um, I mean, I'm down to go into next season with this team, though. But I am anticipating that, like, re like realistically, Giannis has said it many times that he'd want his brothers on this team. So I guess we can offer them contracts. Hey, Kosas wants how much money for what? For nothing. <laughs> He's not even going to play. I think we're straight. Now these these guys just just need to accept their offers. All right, with the Lakers nixed that deal. Oh wow, wow, two K really? Why would the Lakers even waste their time to, to even match that that offer? But at the end of the day, our team is fire. We got Lamelo, Barrett, DeRozan, Giannis, and Mitchell Robinson. I, I think that this is actually gonna be a decent team. A lot of playmaking going on. Because Barrett is a good playmaker. Lamelo is a good playmaker. And Amar DeRozan is a secretly really good playmaker. So, you know, I think we're going to be good. All right, you guys. So, this year says that we're actually buying. Last year, we were ranked 11th. Now, we're ranked 2nd. Same lineup. You guys already know. Melo, Barrett, De DeRozan. Dude, DeRozan dropped down so much. Oh, my goodness. This this might not be good. Giannis, Mr. Robinson, off the bench, we got Kaminga. I mean, I, I guess that's a good reason why we kept Jonathan Kaminga. But Kaminga, Greg, Greg Brown, a lot of the other rooks. And let's just see how good this team is. All right. that like That's all that we can really do for right now. Let's just see how good this team is. Because DeMar, DeMar, DeMar regressing is definitely going to hurt us. And at the end of this season with Giannis, Luka is the MVP. And uh, Cage Rookie of the Year and Sixth Man of the Year. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. We actually get 51 wins. Giannis is the is of course all NBA first team. He maybe I mean he probably should should have been the MVP because he normally is in this game. Did Lamelo or Demar make it? All right, so this year they don't make it. Man, Giannis taking up all them shots, and Jonathan Kaminga is our rookie second team this year. We are from the fifth seed to the second seed with Giannis still in the same conference. Um, so that's cool as far as the stats go. So, I mean, everyone kind of took a back seat a little bit. Uh, DeMar still put up decent numbers. Still shot over 50% from the field. Giannis' numbers went down because he got he got so many more players to share the ball with. But regardless, 
We should beat Cleveland, and we should at least make it to the conference finals. At least. At least. But let me not talk too much, because normally I jinx myself just by saying that. Come on, y'all. We got Washington. We wanted Beal, but it wasn't able to happen. Come on, y'all. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Keep it pushing. Boston. Decent team. And we're in the NBA Finals, and who we got? I wanted Portland so bad, but it don't even matter because, oh, I thought it was going to be a sweep. Chill out. Chill out. Chill. Chill. I'm going to hop in. I'm not going to play, but I'm going to hop in because we're going to blow. I think we're up 3-0. Relax. You know what? I lied. I'm definitely going to play. <laughs> I'm definitely going to play. Foul. Let's go. All right. If we can put in the starters, please. <laughs> if we can put in the starters, please. Because I, I don't know why the starters are, are not in the game right now. Oh, Jonathan. What you doing, bro? And here throwing up bricks and whatnot. All right. Three-point game. Now, I am going to sim. All right, it's a two-point game now. Now we're definitely going to play this game. Starters. Why are the starters not in? Oh, my gosh. All right, Giannis is still in the game. Good. I, I was scared. All right. Is, is he a shooting guard? Hey, yo. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Michael Stauffer, you bugging out. You bugging. But he's getting clamped. So we don't... Oh, move, Barrett. Damn. Get that board, Giannis. Yo, Giannis ain't doing nothing in this game. Watch out, my boy. Watch out. I'll take that. No call. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Greg Brown is is is, is getting buckets at shooting guard guarding Lucas. So what can I say? Oh, my gosh. That screen was immaculate. I could not go anywhere. But Clamp City. Shit out of here. Oh, no way, it's fine. It's, it was kind of a weak call, but it's all right. It's all right, though. Break this. Dang. At least 2K is not calling those timeouts that it normally does, because that is mad annoying. Oh, we got that. Go up. Good board, Giannis, because Melo got blocked. Matter of fact, we, we might stat pad and get him a triple-double. And, and, and DeMar got to... Yo, what if DeMar wins Finals MVP? If DeMar wins Finals MVP, I'm going crazy. Dang, why is he open? Give me those. Give me those. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's not... Let's not choke. Mellow... And guys, we actually won the NBA championship. Literally, I was talking and commentating and just giving a backstory on my entire team. Look over to my right. And literally, the entire game capture app for the Elgato stopped recording. So I spoke for like five to ten minutes and none of it's there. But at the end of the day, we did win the series in seven. We actually won by two games. After that clip, Melo got fouled. He made two free throws and we sealed the deal. Regardless, man, we are able to bring the Knicks back and win a championship. So if you guys enjoyed this video, like it up, and of course, subscribe. Giannis, Mr. Robinson, DeMar DeRozan, Barrett, LaMelo, Kaminga, Brown, Josh Christopher. We got Lynn Sanity a ring in New York, and we brought in Giannis' brother as, as well, man. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know who we should rebuild next. More basketball content coming tomorrow, but I'll see you guys in the next video. I am out. Peace, y'all.